Okay, tonight we're going to take a look at the engine oil pump and specifically we'll uh, pull the pan that's already been done actually and then we're going to take a look at the oil pump to make sure that it's tight these vehicles are notorious for having these bolts and nuts loosen up and uh, wreak havoc on the engine and so we're going to be checking that we'll check for the the uh, chain tension and give it a general look around and uh, once everything's uh, okay then we'll be able to put the pan on so let's get a look it's a 1997 740 IL 180,000 miles okay let's start to get down underneath here okay so I already have the oil pan removed I've also cleaned it up in gasoline so it's ready to go back in and then also there's a new uh, gasket uh, for that ready to go and the gasket would go oh, hold on a second I got a pointer <laughs> okay so the gasket would go here you can see around this rim and then it's also something to replace uh, every time not reuse the bolts can be reused but check them over closely make sure that they're not damaged there's many of them that go all the way around the pan make sure they're not damaged or stripped if so replace them otherwise they can be reused and then here on this sensor here you always want to replace the o-ring <coughs> you see the green ring in there and that goes uh, bolts up into the bottom of the pan okay so the main purpose of this exercise when the vehicles in this state this is the time to take advantage of taking the pan off and taking a look these vehicles are notorious for the uh, bolts and nuts loosening up that secure the oil pump if they come loose then in all likelihood you're going to have some extreme damage done to the engine okay so hopefully i've got this position well and you can see it let me sure get my hand in here so let me just start out by looking at how well secured is the oil pump It's, it's not. So I, you can see I'm just grabbing hold of it and shaking it. And so what we have is there's a, a bolt here. It's loosened up. I've already put wrenches on these just to get a sense for how loose or tight. Up here is a nut that uh, secures the oil pump. So again, we have a bolt here. In behind this bolt is an Allen, uh, um, we use an Allen wrench inside here to uh, adjust the chain. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And then the third fastener is in behind the pump. <coughs> Up there. Uh, hopefully that's on camera, because I can't tell. All right, so this is a darn good discovery here that uh, that this has been checked. So who knows? But if this, uh, if and when this bolt or these nuts come out, in my case, there's one bolt and two nuts. And if that was to come apart, then these bolts can get into the mechanism, and you can have severe damage take place. So right in behind here is the the piston and rods and. This right there, right there's the counterweight of one of them. So, I mean, we're right, we're right there, intimate with the engine component. So, now let's. Uh, the next thing we want to look for in here is is the chain, the chain tension. Well, that's uh, that's extremely loose. So, that needs to get adjusted. Okay. That needs to get adjusted out. So the specification is a uh, is full deflection 10 millimeters. So that's from here to here, 10 millimeter. 
So we're uh, well beyond that. So you can imagine if this was tight that this should only move, you should be able to pull it. You should be able to pull that five millimeter. Okay, so what we need to do here, we need to snug this up. We need to adjust, tighten up the chain properly, and then we need to tighten it, tighten it down good. You can see right here, there's a nice view. Hopefully that shows on camera. See that nut right there, okay? So anyway, that's what we have ahead of us. So luckily, um, I did check this. I have had it checked uh, by an Indy uh, several years ago. But um, anyway, checking it again, this is what we've got. So I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to get closer to doing some of this, and then I'll turn on the camera again and film it. Okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove the fasteners. So I've got this one up here. It's a nut, 13 millimeter socket. And I'm going to take that off. I'd already loosened it up a little. It was already loose. That's the point of the exercise here. But I loosened it up a little bit further. So it's coming out really easily. Now, what I plan on doing is, uh, before I put this back in, I'm going to put some Loctite on it. So there's that one. And then with this one, a 13 millimeter wrench, and I'll turn that one out. And as well, I'll put Loctite on that also. And then around to the back side, there's a, a, a nut that's a 13 millimeter. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to take all three out. I'm going to put Loctite on the two nuts. I'm going to pull it up snug. Then the bolt, before the bolt goes in permanently, there's an Allen uh Kind of a stud in behind here that'll use be used to pull this assembly, uh, adjust this assembly to tighten the chain. I'm not exactly sure of the sequence of events, so I might have some trial and error going on. The other thing I want to check to make sure that it's properly tight is this, this right here. There's there's one here, and there's one over here, and I'm going to check those to make sure they're tight also. Okay, and then I'll come back to the camera in a bit. Okay, so I've gone ahead and taken out the nut that I showed earlier. The nut from here, I took that out. I've left the nut in the back side in, it's loose, but it's holding in the pump. And then here, I've gone ahead and removed entirely that bolt. Now the bolt has to come out entirely to be able to reach, to be able to access the Allen, uh, to be able to make an adjustment on the chain. So that requires an eight millimeter Allen. Okay, bear with me here. Here, see, as I stick that up in there, see it's in now, and if you look real close, you see as I'm turning it, As I'm turning it, can you see this turns? And as this turns, now right now it's it's totally against this, it's all the way against the pump. So as I turn it, I'm gonna be able to back it off, which will pull it, move it over, out away from the pump, which will pull it down. See how it's got this play? So as I, as I pull it down this way, it'll take up this slack. <sighs> this is going to be tedious. Oh good, there's, there's, there's how I've done it to, to fit in there nicely. So 8mm Allen wrench is going all the way up through and behind the gear. And let's see if I can get any turn out of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Now you see, notice what it's doing to the chain in the background there. See, it's pulling, it's pulling the slack out of the chain. And you can see a little gap forming here in this adjuster. So it's supposed to be 10 millimeter total deflection. That might be that might be too tight right there, but this is much tighter than it was. I'm gonna have to actually get something that'll allow me to get a measurement of that. But you see, anyway, this is how it gets adjusted, and then we'll have to adjust it again because I'm gonna before I put the uh, nut back in, I'm gonna put Loctite on it. So I'll put Loctite on this nut and put it, snug it up in there. And then when I do that, I can take the nut off the back side and put Loctite on it and snug it back up. We could do it a final adjustment then at that point, get that just where we need it to be. Right now it's too loose again. And then once that's done, then we'll be able to, to pull the wrench out, put Loctite on the bolt and put the bolt back in place. And as we go through this exercise, we're going to want to check it to make sure that we stay within spec on that chain. And then when we get it all done, we'll just do one more check of the, of make sure everything's good and tight. Make sure that the chain adjustment is accurate. And then we'll be ready to put the, there's a black plastic cover that goes on here. We'll be able to put that back on. And then we can put the pan back on. So that's basically the order we got going on. So the important thing that we found is that the oil pump was loose. It was going to create trouble eventually. The, the uh, chain for that pump was loose and eventually that could have created some problems. Certainly would have been uh, created some of the some noise, perhaps vibration also. All right, so I'm going to shut the camera off and get back at it. I don't know if this is going to show up in the camera, but I got a six inch scale and I think the easiest way to try to look at this is full deflection, which a 10 millimeter is roughly a quarter inch. So let me get it all the way out and that's at the five and all the way in, all the way out, all the way in. Okay, so right there, so to position myself, there is at the five. And I can push it out to 1664s. So all the way in at the five inch mark, all the way out at the 1664s mark. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it right there. So let's check this side though. It's a three inch, all right, full deflection, three inch marker. It push it out. It is out. It goes out to forty eight. 64 so flip that around at 16 again so it's the same so it's it's the same on both sides it's got a quarter inch deflection full deflection on both sides and and that's really close i don't have my converter on me so i don't know if that's exactly right that's tighter than what it was but we can only leave it there temporarily so, so this is about a quarter inch full deflection on both sides of that chain. Okay, it's much tighter than it was. And you can see here there's a gap, there's a gap between the adjuster and this uh, casting here for the oil pump. So anyway, it's, it's indeed slightly 
uh, adjusted slightly tighter so it appears to be now within spec. I'll get a calculator out later and uh, double check that before I button it all the way up. So now I have to get the Loctite and snug this nut up here. So once that's snugged up, I can take the nut off the back side, put Loctite on it, run it back up. So then the pump's fairly secure. I can pull the Allen wrench out and uh, start running the bolt up in. I want to double check the chain tension before I pull this uh, wrench out of there and give up on all that, assuming it's all okay. So I'll check the tension again. If it's still all right, once these nuts are in place, I'll pull the wrench out and I'll start putting that bolt back into place. And in every case, I'll be using uh, Loctite. And once it all gets back together, tighten it down and then check again one final time the belt or the, the chain to make sure that, that the tension is remained within spec. Uh, 